Central Bank Governor Mr. Godwin Emefili has called for more private sector involvement in improving the health sector in the country. CBN Governor made a disclosure at the premiere of the documentary on Nigeria's response to COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, titled Unmasked. He says, he says the Apex Bank has disbursed over 83.9 billion naira to pharmaceutical uh, and healthcare practitioners uh, in the country since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Mayfield also said, building a robust healthcare infrastructure is critical to containing the spread of the pandemic in the country. Adding that CBN remains committed to working with all stakeholders in improving access to finance and credit that will support the development of a viable healthcare infrastructure in the country. Meanwhile, the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Songwolu, called for a structure or uh, the structure of country's governance system, particularly the cost of governance at all levels uh, to save revenue needed to fund key infrastructure projects across the country. Indeed, what COVID had uh, brought forward to us are things that, are indeed, if we take the positive side of it, we can use to galvanize and to create, you know, that tomorrow and the belief that we are saying to ourselves. And so let's look at ourselves in the face and ask ourselves that what are the lessons and the learning that COVID indeed has passed on to our generation? What are we doing differently that will ensure that all of the mistakes, you know, known and unknown that COVID has cost us, how are we positioning ourselves to ensure that it doesn't happen again? The challenges our nation faces as a result of the pandemic, it is indeed vital that all stakeholders work to build the capacity of our researchers and institutions to address domestic health care challenges, strengthening collaboration and partnerships between researchers, public as well as private sector stakeholders across the country is crucial in enabling Nigeria to build a more robust and productive health care infrastructure.